This is Graham Smith, uh, the England assistant coach, and we're at the Worcester Bristol Premier Game, and it's closely balanced game at the moment. But Graham is going to tell us about the, um, the post mortem on the World Cup, and in particular that World Cup final. Graham. Well, first of all, I'd like to say that I think that everybody had a fantastic experience during the World Cup, and um, I think we shouldn't uh, lose sight of the fact of what we achieved not just as a team but as a, as a global game and, and the World Cup success itself as a tournament but uh, with the final um, finals are won and lost on fine margins and I think you have to give every credit to that New Zealand team they're a fantastic team with some very very skillful players incredibly uh, big hearts and work rate and if anything we lost it in the first 20 minutes and and uh, you know three points is is a very small margin or it's a very big margin depending on which way you look at it but um, I think we're a team that can beat New Zealand without a shadow of a doubt uh, we just weren't good enough particularly in that first 20 minutes having said that our defence, uh, which is statistically the best defence in the world, was, was phenomenal on the day and you can't fault the effort, the heart. You've just got to look at some of the things we did well in the semi-final against Australia and didn't quite execute in the final against New Zealand. But the, um, the loss of the first 20 minutes was down to a basic error, wasn't it? Right at the start. I think it was down to a few basic errors and I think there are factors that you uh, can can look at and I think that I don't think there's ever, there should ever be excuses but I think there are factors um, uh, everybody looked at home advantage as being a positive it can be a negative uh, the 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 ride to the stadium for example was was unbelievable and it, it, it had me very nervous going to a women's international and seeing ticket totes and people selling flags and banners it's just an experience that we've not been through before and um, and I think that there was a huge amount of nerves and expectation in that first 20 minutes and New Zealand managed it better than we did. Do you think you had the right call with regard to personnel up day? Yes, I do. I do. Uh, Selection is always a huge issue uh, and um, I think that each coach has their, uh, their default setting for a player. Uh, you know what a player should look like in any position and another coach may make a different call but uh, I, I, I would back our selection 100%. Any observations on the loss of Fiona Pocock? Final? Yeah big loss. I think Fee proved I feel that she was the best winger in the tournament without a shadow of a doubt when when I say that, I think you've got to look at the, the composition of a position, uh, defence, attack, kicking ability, footwork, finishing ability, X-factor, and I think Fee was the best winger in the tournament, and we missed her. And you replaced your scrum half with about 20 minutes to go. Any comments on that? Um, uh, I just think it was getting people uh, onto the field for, for the experience, trying different things. I think sometimes you've just got to throw the dice. Yes, you had uh, you had the talent, you had the wings, but they didn't seem to get the ball early enough. They didn't. Uh... I, I don't, as I say, I don't think we played as well as we can, and um, I think that uh, everybody would look forward to playing New Zealand again and Australia as well. And I hope that that the powers that be can can find the organisation and finances to make it happen. That's not easy in the women's game. It's a wish list, but well, it's the future, uh, keep working hard. We've got the personnel, we've got the strength in depth, we've just got to keep working hard and you've got to back yourselves at what we did in the build up to the World Cup and the preparation was right, it was spot on. In, in our, you mentioned the post-mortem, in our post-mortem uh, it comes down to uh, individual errors, uh, it comes down to uh, underperformance on a day, it certainly doesn't come down to the preparation for the players or the staff. Yes, and of course we've got a good season coming up. We've got a big doubleheader international here. It's hugely exciting. I think the, the the big success of the World Cup is the profile of the women's game. There's two two games going to be live on TV. Um, you know the uh, the doubleheader here at Worcester. I think could be a sellout. Uh, the number of pl uh, people that will stay behind to watch us play Scotland at Twickenham, and then we've got a Nations Cup to go and defend in uh, in North America in uh, in August. And it's another big year and pressure on us to win. But we're gonna we're gonna give it a good go.